Hello and welcome back to episode 454 of the Journey Through Games, playing almost every Super Nintendo game released in Europe and the US, but mostly missing out on sports games. Today we are playing Sparkster, which I think is a game that I remember from, but on the Genesis, it's where you control like an uh, a mouse or a, a, some kind of animal that's in a suit of armor that can fly with a jetpack. Let's see if this is actually that game. Hmm, okay. It's Konami, which is always uh, a good sign back in the day. Level, easy, attack, jump, right, left. Okay. Right, let's get stuck in. Sparkster. Is it the game? So he's like in a blue suit. Yeah, it is. It's this guy. So I remember this. It was on the Super Nin It was on the Genesis, though. I wonder what creature he is. Oh no. Uh oh. What is that? But it is, it's like, it's hard as balls, or not, not hard as balls, but there's enemies everywhere, you don't get any breaks, wait what, he's moving on his own now, so I've here, I'm the, the mouse, I think, is it a mouse, or? Done for, did him. Cool. And now he's running on his own. Oh, wow, okay. Oh. Can't get past him. Is this another boss? Oh, he took a lot. No, definitely not a boss because there's another one of them. Oh. oh no! Is that me? Am I done for? How many hits does this, do these guys take? It's 
So how do you take that guy out? Don't even bother. So with him picking up uh, bananas, is he a monkey? So, yeah, I would say decent discovery so far. It's kind of, I would say Skyblazer, for me, is was better. This, this is definitely not a bad game. And I think I, I remember seeing it as a kid, but I, I don't actually have any memories of the levels. I don't know if it's the same as the game on the Genesis, or even in fact if it's the one on the Genesis just looked looked the same or perhaps was just coincidental. I think it's um was it Rocket Mouse or something on the Genesis, I don't know. But yeah, it's it's not bad. Considering like again I keep saying this, but there's a lot of crap on the Super Nintendo. So something doesn't have to be the best thing since sliced bread in order for it to to stand out. Like the the bar is actually quite low, I think, when it comes to having decent games on the Super Nintendo. Oh, is he? Oh. Oof, that was tough. I thought I was going to die there. Stage clear. There's two bosses. Jesus. Uh, yeah, Sparkster. It's 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 decent discovery, definitely. Um, I do kind of. I had kind of heard about it, but, but I didn't know it was on the Super Nintendo. Uh, What's this? I was like Aloy.
whatever you want. It's a little bit like Mega Man in terms of how difficult it is. Wait, what? No. I died. Got me. Mm, I want to stamp on him. Um, uh, yeah, it does give me quite strong Mega Man X vibes. Um, but probably not as difficult as that. Mega Man X is, is tough. Played them earlier on in the Journey Through games. Ooh. Oh, that's me done. Ah. Oh, no, wait. I'm still controlling him. Continue. Where do I start from? All the way back here. Nah. It's not for me. Um, yeah, that'll do it for Sparkster. Um, I would yeah put it in the decent discovery category again i'd say it's for me it's just a bit too difficult it's kind of got that super nintendo anti-rental difficulty you know where they they boosted the difficulty because they didn't want people to rent it and then complete it in a weekend they wanted you to buy it so that'll do it for this episode i'll see you guys next time <laughs>